Sunday in the warehouse. Today I am packing a few orders, getting ready for next week. And I wanted to show you what sold over the past seven or 10 days because some of these things were really interesting and you're gonna wanna look out for them at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, wherever you go to find things to sell for a profit on eBay. Let's go. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 sold listings on here. We're gonna go through these individually and I'll talk about why I bought it, how I shipped it, how much money I made, all that fun stuff that you guys love to hear about, right? And if you have any comments or questions below, please feel free to put them in the comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say. So the first thing, you saw me pick this up in a thrift haul video. It actually sold at the end of February, so uh, I think we're just actually at the 10 day uh, limit. That's why I said seven or 10 days, because I actually forgot to put this in the last thrift or what sold video. And it's the vintage Fenton glass, ruby red, ruffled, small basket, painted rose, signed J Green 92, eight inch. How about those keywords? I really, I really uh, stuff keywords when I talk about this stuff. Not the best picture as you can see, but it does show all of the detail that I wanted. I'm not sure what this would have gone for as I buy it now. My guess is maybe 40 or 50 bucks. Who knows, maybe this 2676 plus 1175 uh, standard shipping cost is great. It went UPS, I double boxed it. I went to a guy in I think Indiana, maybe maybe uh, Maryland. It was close enough where it was only like 10 bucks. So I made like a dollar on shipping. Although uh, I did have to buy <laughs> two boxes for it. Um, I paid five bucks for it at a Goodwill. You saw the video. And uh, it has been delivered, I believe, but no no uh, positive feedback yet. But I really doubt with double boxing it with all the void filler and packing peanuts I used, I really doubt that it, uh, it broke. Next thing, uh, I made a video on these, but I wanted to show them again. These two refill Airwick Freshmatic Baby Magic Clean Baby Automatic Room Spray containers. Familiar favorites right there. Had them listed at 88 bucks plus shipping, took a best offer of 50, and uh, the buyer did pay. I know some people were saying in the comments, they're never gonna pay. Uh, they paid, <laughs> so so don't worry about it. Um, there was the, the buy cost on these was $10, and they shipped uh, UPS ground for, uh, uh, yeah, UPS ground for about $8. With this kind of stuff, I do not like to put it in anything that goes airmail because it uh, it can explode and that's not good. Next thing I sold was to an international buyer in Japan, vintage style Marvel X-Men sweatshirt. You can see it's been listed since June 8th of 2021. I had 40 bucks and for this one, I, I took a different approach to the picture. I just put the graphic as the picture. Second image was the actual shirt, if it ever loads. Third image was the, a, a, a numerical tag that I hand wrote with the uh, the measurements in there, 21 by 23, because on this, the actual tag had been worn off. So 40 bucks, I think I paid three bucks for it. I, that's that's a good deal. I think that's a, a really good, um, a really good, uh, whoops, I messed up. I said new without tags. Yikes. It was not new without tags. It was old. So... I made a mistake. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if they if they say anything about it. You know, I guess I'll I'll keep you guys updated. What happened here? I'm almost positive is I just did sell similar from someone else's listing, and I didn't realize that um that it, you know that was wrong. I'm hoping this worn graphics, very cool vintage look, uh, saves me because obviously. When you look at it, it's not new, but you know, buyers be trying crazy stuff. We all know that. Here, I made a TikTok about this. This sold overnight. I was pretty surprised. Uh, Border Terrier, Puppy Dog, Hanging Wall Art, Michael Park, Wood Carver. So Michael Park, Wood Carver, he has sold two snow globes for about 30 bucks plus shipping over the past 90 days. I went a little bit above that at 40 bucks plus shipping, and it went to a buyer in Michigan. If this is you buying this, thank you very much. I thought it was really well done. Uh, whenever I see things that I could not do, <laughs> I start I start wondering what the value of that is. Uh, you know, it's not. I wouldn't say it's like 
photorealistic, but it is very, you know what it is. It looks just like a border terrier. Hangs on a wall, little feet hang over. Uh, and I bought this because of the keywords. I thought the keywords, you know, border terrier, puppy dog, hanging wall art, for that matter, were all very good. Uh, could I have charged more? I don't know. I, I would be surprised if this would have sold for more than uh, than 40 bucks plus shipping. That would be that'd be amazing to me. Next thing I sold was listed for a long time, September 10th, 2021. This one was actually for sale on Amazon as uh, as in like new condition. It wasn't new because the box damage is pretty bad. If you can see from the picture, there's tape on it. That's torn up a little bit, but it has never been opened, never been used. Uh, did not sell on Amazon for six months, and so I had it sent back to me. I think I had it listed at like 100 bucks. I always price way high for this uh, old new stock stuff. Um, new old stock, I mean, on Amazon. Uh, so it sold for, I think I, I lowered the price. I think I started off at like 70 bucks plus shipping, then lowered to 50 then finally lowered to uh, $29.95 plus shipping, sold to a buyer in Minnesota. They ended up paying, it, this is huge. It was like 24 inches long. It's really, really big. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't think it is by the picture, but it is. So they paid like 25 bucks in shipping. I think the, the total was like just south of 50 bucks. So I guess less than, but I mean, it was a lot, a lot of money. Um, and I think I had probably five bucks into this. So not a, uh, not a great sale, you know, not the best sale, but I'm glad to get it out, out the door and, uh, the buyer paid. It has been delivered. I believe when did they, when did they buy it? They, it was just, I just, I remember shipping it out because it was a pain in the butt ship out. And I, I bet it's, um, it's there by now. We have this book sold in like two hours. I may have priced it too low. A uh, passage to India, EM Forrester, the modern library edition 24 with dust jacket. So this book without the dust jacket sells for about 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, with the dust jacket, there were no other completed sales. Um, the dust jacket, I, shoot, I can't upload the pictures. The dust jacket is not like that special. It's torn here. It sold very fast to somebody who lives in a like a $4 million house uh, in, in, um, in the Bay Area of California. I looked up their address. I'm always curious to see if it's going to like another bookseller or an antique store if I priced it way too low. I don't think that this was too low of a price. Generally, like 40 bucks or 50 bucks. That's like my, what I believe for most buyers is like the upper limit of an impulse buy. So, you know, tell me if you, if you know this book better than I do, and it's worth like hundreds of dollars, I'd love to know. Uh, because I, uh, I like to I know things that are like a hundred years old, uh, or around there, you know, 80, 80 years plus that's when like their increase in value starts. So, um, you know, who knows, maybe I'm, I'm starting the market. You know, maybe this is the first sale and we're going to see more of these. Who knows? Another cool vintage item, vintage Inesco Precious Moments animated swing music box plays always. All the pictures I have there, you can see um, on the bottom it says it plays that song. Uh, free shipping on this. I probably, if I were to do this listing again, I would have charged shipping. Uh, it did ship first class mail it was surprisingly light it was like 15 ounces so i think it only cost like six bucks to ship but still uh that was a, a close call and anything that's over a pound i'm generally going to be uh, adding shipping cost onto the listing as well as anything that sells for like less than 10 bucks because what i've noticed just anecdotally is that when i sell a book uh, i'll get way more sales at like five dollars plus shipping than I will at nine bucks free shipping. I think there's like a psychological benefit to having that lower price on low end goods. I sold this men's Carhartt hoodie for 30 bucks plus shipping. Uh, I thought I could get 50 bucks for it. Free shipping didn't work. I added shipping and began sending out offers uh, and someone accepted a $30 offer going to somebody in New Jersey. It'll go in a padded rate mailer. I paid 250 for this i think i've got a few car hearts i have to list after they had that vaccine stuff everyone donated their car heart it was flooding goodwills around here i bought them all and i have to list probably five or five or seven more of these hoodies that i paid less than five bucks for and should get between 30 and 50 bucks individually and i will be adding shipping i do 9.95 just because i think it looks better and sometimes I can't always fit an item into a pad rate mailer. I think this large will be okay, but if it were like a double XL or triple XL, 
that would be pushing the limits of what I can stuff into one of those envelopes. Here's another cool one if you like religious books. Paradise Lost to Paradise Found, Jehovah's Witness book from 1958, sold to a buyer in Georgia. I had it listed initially at around 40 bucks, including that cost of shipping, uh, but I began sending out offers. I lowered the price. I put it on sale at 25% uh, off, and then I lowered the price. Or, I'm sorry, that's not offers, and I think the final offer it sold for was $24.90 plus shipping, so just out of 30 bucks, and I paid... Yeah, 50 cents for it. This is another thrift haul video. I love selling calculators. They're easy, they're simple. It just goes into a poly, not a poly mailer, it goes into a nine by six padded mailer. Uh, I, you know, I get them those at Walmart. You can get them for real cheap. 20 bucks, free shipping, weighs less than four ounces, so it ships for like 331. This went to a buyer in Florida, and uh, no doubt they're using it for their stereo receiver system. Uh, these go for about 15 to 20 bucks, but they do sell pretty regularly. So I did a promoted listing on this and uh, at, at like 2% and it sold in, let's see, about three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Here's a cool one. Two CD Super Euro Beat presents the best of Euro Mach. Uh, sold for 40 bucks on an offer. Free shipping. It will go media mail. This had no completed sales on eBay and the sales rank on Amazon was like 300,000 but I thought it had good keywords. I think like Eurobeat uh, looks good. I think it had good cover art. That looks like the kind of thing that somebody who's into that kind of music is gonna wanna buy. Uh, not a lot of, of supply, a pretty consistent demand for this kind of niche music interest. 40 bucks, I paid 50 cents for it. That was a good flip. Now two more, these are two things that I did not think would sell, or maybe that's not true. I knew they would sell, but I wasn't sure they would sell so fast and for this amount of money. So uh, if you watch the thrift haul series, I made 20 videos. I bought a lot of art, which I have not sold before, but I, I have sold three of the pieces so far. This one right here, original signed Asian art, 14 by 12 textures, sand, zen, rocks, minimalist. Has this cool like silver leaf texture on there. Uh, mixed, mixed media, that's like a paper, there's paint. Went to a buyer in Indianapolis. Um, they, I originally had it at 50 bucks plus shipping. They messaged me and said, hey, can you do 30 bucks shipped? I said, sure, depends you know, where you are. They were in Indianapolis. Uh, it's gonna cost like 10 bucks to get to them. I paid five bucks. Uh, not a huge sale, but I'm getting a lot more comfortable with like knowing what the pricing points for these art pieces will. And I think for most things, Probably I can charge like 20 to 30 bucks plus shipping if it looks good, if it's original hand signed. And that's going to be proven again at this next sale. Uh, original art, nothing amazing, uh, but the Mermaid's back, it's a print, not even an original, but it's a signed print, as you can see right there. 20 out of 500. The artist's name is Marjolene Scott. Went to a buyer in Texas. I sent out offers of 33 bucks free shipping. Uh, it's very light. What I'll do for this is I will just ship it UPS. I'll make sure it's bubble wrap, make sure it's secure, make sure it's not shaking around. And I would say this item should ship for around 10 bucks, I'd guess. Um, I've got boxes ready for it. Selling art's very, I, I don't know. I love selling art, I wanna do more of it. And having these like three sales, which have covered all of my art purchases over the past month in the first few weeks is uh, inspiring and hopeful. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, I encourage you, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.